first started with my, my brother and his family recently in July got stationed here in El Paso at Fort Bliss. Uh, he's a major in the Army and uh, uh, he has uh, four children and we wanted to make sure that we could get them some tickets out to the game and then talking with uh, our ticket operations team and letting us know that we had some available seats for this game it kind of turned into inviting as many of the soldiers that he uh, he works with on a day-to-day -day basis from Fort Bliss to come out and cheer on the Knights. We ended up getting 150 of them out here. It was really a great idea especially this being Veterans Day weekend uh, just to kind of give back. The military families they've been really They've been sacrificing a lot for the last 10 years, and I, I was really happy to be a part of that and help just deliver some, uh, some tickets to these guys just so they could come out here and have fun tonight and uh, cheer for the Knights. It just reminds me of my college days. You know, I went to college in Florida team and just loved, you know, loved going out here and reminded me of kind of like the good old days when just got to get a chance to tailgate, come to college games. I haven't been to college games since I was in college. I actually sent him out emails and everything with everybody's name and tickets that they wanted and it was great so even though that the weather was bad we still came down here just to support them that's cool man you know I, you don't get a lot of florida love out here in el paso texas and just to see some night love out here some t-shirts waving and some people cheering i, I think it's a really cool thing so uh, I'm, I'm happy to support them and maybe bring some new fans to the UCF Nation. We really appreciate University of Central Florida helping us with this and just giving these guys a, a good weekend in celebration of the troops uh, that are doing their part to uh, preserve the country's freedom. What's up fans, come out to Bright House Stadium and watch us take on UAB on November 24th.